We're joined by assistant coach Jalen Jimerson. 16-14 um, win over Mexico uh, for 11th place here at the World Championships. Um, you know, just what did you expect coming in after two tough losses and wanted to bounce back yeah. in your last game of the tournament? Um, I think the biggest thing that we had talked about with the girls is just our biggest message this past like two weeks was just turning the page. I think. You know, in the game of lacrosse, there's going to be a lot of mistakes that happen, and like that was our biggest thing is like we have to bounce back, whether it's a win or a loss, or you miss a shot or you miss a pass. Like that's what we were expecting coming in, and like we really wanted them to focus on sticking together and like, you know, coming in as a team and finishing as a team as well. And I thought they did really, really well today and showed that. Awesome, um, Doran was seven goals today. I think Luther had three, Tarbell had three. Um, what did the offense give you guys today? Our offense was just clicking so well today, and you know it was really awesome to see, especially at the end of the tournament. Um, you know, I think on this team, like they're just so talented on the offensive end and on the defensive end, and it was just really nice to see it come together. And I thought the chemistry at the end just was. You know, really, really good to see, and I just was happy that their talented was displayed on the highest um, world stage. Awesome. And then the defense, they played great all tournament. Um, yeah. I mean, they made a little run in the fourth quarter, but mm -hmm. really they held y'all down every game. Um, yeah. What would you see from the defense? Our defense is just like such a collective unit. I mean, I think they keep us in a lot of these games. They work so well together, and they just have really like great leaders on that end of the field, and Kimmy Schindler and Kim Miracle and, you know, Brooklyn Hill and, you know, everybody else that goes on that field that, it was just really good to see, and I think that they held us in a lot throughout these past couple of weeks, and I'm glad that, you know, those were our defenders on that end because they're just so important to this team. Yeah, and then we talked to your mom early, and she, she said she was kind of surprised that you expressed interest in coaching. <laughs> um, kind of just share a little bit about, like, what, what made you interested in yeah. coming here and being a part of this uh, team in a coaching aspect? I mean, I think for me, like, my biggest thing is, like, I wanted to give back to the game that has given me so much, and I know, like, Team Indian Shoni has just done so much for me in the past, and it wasn't just like, you know, there's so many people on this program that made me the player that I am today, and like if I could have a slight impact on some of these players, and it doesn't have to be all of them, just at least one, then I feel like I know that I did my job, and I mean, this program has given me so much life and has taken me so many places, and I just wanted to, you know, give some of these girls that same opportunities that I had, and I thought coaching was the best way to do it, and I was very fortunate that I was brought onto this team, and I feel very, very lucky. And I know that there's so many other great coaches to choose from, so I feel very, very, you know, blessed and grateful that I was the one that was picked. Cool. And then last question: um, What has it been like just coaching your sisters and, and being a part of <laughs> this whole like family affair for you all? Yeah, I mean, it's just been you know really, really great opportunity to like coach them. I think for me, like especially with those two, dis deciphering when to coach them and when not to, you know, not in the backyard, that's for sure. Um, but I think out here, I, it was just really, really awesome to see and. Um, you know, I, I know my sisters and I know that they worked so hard to get here and I'm just happy that they're able to play and yeah, like I just feel very lucky not just to coach them but to coach all these girls and like for me, like I look at these girls as family now and I just feel very, very, you know, grateful to know them and I think on top of that too, like all the communities that these girls come from, you know, they should be so proud of the kids that they raise and, you know, the kids that they put out on this field and sent over to Hong Kong because they're just such amazing human beings and I know they're going to do really, really great things, you know, after this tournament and for this program. Awesome. Well, thank you for the time. Yeah, Appreciate thank it. You. All right.